Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, and we're live with the incredible Henry Simmons. So let me just set the scene for you. Over the last couple of days, we've been on another Park Home Holiday Park Association road trip. Very kindly, Henry Simmons invited us here to spend a day with him to understand a day in the life of a residential park operator. Well, our journey started off, as many of you will know, parking up at the Simmons Farm Estate touring site where we had our Varun motorhome. We came into these incredible electric gates that peeled back with the tree logo on them, which you can appear, which you'll see on every single one of Henry Simmons Parks. We spent the night, an incredible night, with Tom on site in our touring caravan. The next day we met up with uh, one of uh, uh, Henry's managers, Joe, and we toured Augenford Manor Park, which is an incredible park. From there, we hot towed it down in one of the vehicles, one of the company vehicles, to meet up at Henry Simmons, where we met and <coughs> interviewed Henry and presented him with a award. Well, Henry, after spending the day with him and us capturing some incredible filming of Henry at work, seeing the residents coming out and waving at him and thanking him for you know, improving the parks. And I must state that Henry's parks are five-star, first-class parks, we're so pleased to present him with the world. But wanted to spend just 10 minutes with you guys so you can understand the man live on air. We're going to ask him a few questions we wanted to share with you. Now, we've done a lot of filming and photographs that you're going to be seeing in our magazine and online. But, Henry, first of all, I want to say thank you for your hospitality, thank you, Mike. for having us down. It's been incredible. I first had the, the great opportunity to meet you with Alfie Healthy Best uh, down in Tranquility Park. That's right. And that park, as soon as I saw the gates and the brick wall, it sort of set the tonality of what your parks represent. Quality, five star. Can you tell us a bit about why you've created your parks in, in five star quality and why you go the extra mile in terms of building construction? Why do you, why do, you do that? I feel that <clears throat> I do suffer to the best of my ability, I do take pride in it, I do go the extra mile, and that's where I'd like to live, that's how I'd like things done. It's just as simple as that, it's just a simple solution. So, you know, nice brickwork, nice walls, nice gates, who don't like, who don't like nice things at all? So, it, it works. That's, that's the real world, unfortunately. And do you know, every one of the parks, I mean, you invited us onto all your parks yesterday, we visited four parks, Albanford, Pinehurst, Woodlands, and of course Nightcrest, and as well as the touring park. But every one of the parks had such a fantastic atmosphere. I mean, the residents are happy, but the parks are calm. There's a really amazing calm and a sense of tranquility and a sense of community spirit in the parks. How did you create that? How do you manage to build that sense of community? We're around my parks every week. Me personally, the managers I had, and if anyone's got any issues, any problems, anything at all, they can talk to one of my managers, they can talk to me, they can have a meeting with me, they can email me, and we get back to them as quick as we can. So we reply to them and we resolve the problems if we've got any of those. So thank you. And, and look, ladies and gentlemen, this video is a live video, but you may also be watching on replay. If you're watching on live, just put a a little post in to say, hi Henry, how are you doing? Introduce yourself, where you're from, or what area in the country, and what your interest is in residential park homes, or in the touring industry, or just in entrepreneurial entrepreneurship uh, in itself. So Henry has a number of parks, but yesterday we presented an award for Organford Manor. Now Organford Manor is a 55 acre site. Can you describe this site? Because we've got it on film, I've enjoyed being there for a couple of days now, but can you describe to the audience this incredible site? Simply incredible. Yes, um, I developed the park, I think I've got about 90 new owners on the park, additional to the rest of the park. And then we bought some extra farmland up, and then we've got a five acre field, which the residents use for dog walking, and then we've got a tour and park adjacent to it as well. And then an out entrance for safety reasons. Um, it's a great environment. It's, it's a great location along the Jurassic Coast. And um, we've, we've all got on very well. And we have got a very, very good audience of people there. Great residents. They're just all very fantastic. They're, you know, all like-minded, and that's what it's all about. You know, I can imagine um, with the parks, as I'm, as I'm going around, and viewing parks with the Park Home Association, our role is to review park operators and their parks, obviously to support park operators. And if you're watching for the first time, 
the Park and Holly Park Association is here for residential, holiday, leisure, camping, glamping and touring parks in its entirety. So we are here to encourage the industry to help it move forward, <clears throat> to help it grow and to raise the awareness of what incredible opportunities exist um, for the UK market for residents. So let me talk about residents for a second. Residents have an opportunity to move into what is classed as retirement living. And I believe that it's an answer and one of the solutions to the affordable housing crisis and for retirement, there's an option to retire, buy an incredible park home, perhaps put some money in the bank. Do you think that's the way things are going now for people retiring? For sure. And the age group, what we're on about now, you know, between the sixties and eighties, with this pandemic, I think it's made everyone realise life is very short, you must enjoy it. Mm. Absolutely. And when I know it's your park, especially on Wimper Manor, and just going back to the construction, because I think I've been on your parks for the last couple of days and you invite us in, to, what's your business, your family, your home, and everything that you're building here for your residents. I'm looking at the construction, I'm looking at the driveways, the curb granite, <coughs> uh, the curb, granite curbstones, the lighting on the parts, the CCTV, the secured lakes, the, 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 the way that everybody has a sense of pride with their own plot, every single plot on every single park is immaculate. Even yesterday, I was walking along with you, and you were talking to residents, and they were shaping the balls, uh, the hedge balls. Right, yeah. There's a sense of pride that everyone wants to keep it to a standard. That's right. Uh, it's all like-minded. If you, you know, if you go on a park and it's dull and dingy, overgrown, um, you know, you're not re really going to take much pride in your own home outside. It's not always the case, but if you're next door to like-minded people with great gardens, you know, nice driveways, you are going to try and maintain it to a nicer level. You put the extra effort in. You sure. can see that, as you yeah. said. I mean, there's a lady out helping one of the neighbours yesterday doing some painting, which is the community spirit. It's really, it's really in full flow in your park. So, yeah. Do you think the community spirit is important, more important now than ever before? Yeah, I think you've got to have a good community. Um, we've got residents association, and um, we work with them. And if they have a problem, you know, we resolve the problem. It's as simple as that. You know, I've just took on a park. We had a water leak there. You know, we wasn't aware of it until we took on the park. You know, after a couple of weeks, we did resolve the problem. So, you know, that saved me money in the long run. They're happy, so we're both winners, aren't we? It's really great to spend some time with Henry. I've got just two more questions for Henry. The rest you're going to have to wait to find out. Um, from my point of view, um, representing and being part of the Park Home and Holly Park Association, it's an honour. It really is to meet incredible park operators that are seasoned professionals that have been in the business for some time. Henry's family have been in the park home business since 1959, and Henry latter took up the mantle. Now, Henry is an entrepreneur and has run and managed different types of businesses, but there are people watching right now that are looking and searching for their first park. Now, it's not easy. First of all, you're looking for your park. It may be a new piece of land that you're looking to apply uh, planning and licensing to get yourself established, and there's no better time uh, now than ever before to be considering to coming into the market. However, as a new startup, there is lots of information and knowledge that you need that you only acquire over time. Henry, like other seasoned professionals, have made their mistakes during their career as they're moving themselves forward. But what is impressive is there is a mistake or a challenge, and that's learning, isn't it? You learn you by learn. your mistakes. So would you say now that after managing a large number of parks, buying and selling parks, and, and, and operating at a very high standard, that are you, are you still learning? Are you still growing? And in, and in what way are you growing? I think you learn every day. You're never too old to learn, for sure. Yeah. So, that is definitely. And do you think someone coming into the market, so a new operator, what advice would you have for them? So if someone's watching, you know, I'd love to own an upright park. It's not easy. We know that. What advice would you give them? No, nothing's easy. Nothing um, to do with earning money is easy, full stop. That's the same for any business. But I think do something what you enjoy, and if you enjoy doing that, go for it for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Henry Simmons, who's been an absolute gentleman over the last couple of days for us, putting us up. So we thank you, Henry, for putting us welcome in the Park Home and Holly Park Association. To find out more about Henry's Parks, you can catch up 
with Henry Simmons Senior on Instagram, uh, where um, his uh, his feeds and some of his posts are available for you to see. We're going to be releasing lots of information, broadcasts, interviews, and podcasts with Henry over the next coming weeks, and also. We have something out called uh, uh, Spending a Day, a Day in the Life of Henry Simmons, which is a mixture of videos and footage. So stay tuned. To find out more about Henry's company, please do visit residentialparkhomes.co.uk to find out more about the company. Now, if you're watching and you're interested to book a weekend away in a touring site, which I can hugely recommend that I've stayed on, that is first class first class quality toilets, first class quality site and views in fact last night in the motorhome and that's touringparks.co.uk I think I've got that right Joe, okay. touringparks.co.uk Now we parked up last night and I was filming last night and I was looking out at some of the most incredible views imaginable. There's still some spaces available this weekend for you to book, get your touring motorhome down to Dorset, onto Henry's uh, estate and enjoy an incredible weekend of relaxation, of views, of being with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones, or if you need a break on your own for a bit of R&R, &R, then take the opportunity and get booked now. But for now, Henry, sir, thank you so much. Indeed. Very welcome. It really has been thank an honor to meet you, and we look forward to catching up with Henry in the future as he moves forward with his business. It's goodbye from us at the Park and Holy Park Association, and goodbye yep, from goodbye. Mr. Henry Simmons. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.